champions of the Remars event, Furion Exo Bionics is proud to present Prosthesis, the anti-robot. Please welcome Jonathan Tippett and Sam Carter. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How's everyone doing tonight? You guys enjoying the conference so far? You managing to stay cool? My name is Jonathan Tippett. I'm the co-founder of Furion Exobionics, and we're super excited to be here at Amazon Remars to show you the work we've been doing over the last few years. The machine you see behind me is an exoskeleton. Some would call it a mech or a human piloted robot. It's not a robot, per se, in that it has no autonomy. It has no self-awareness. It has no sensors or gyros that aid in its movement. It's entirely dependent upon pilot skill for every move it makes. The first question we often get when, when people see the machine is, well, what's it for? What can it do? And the answer is, we don't know yet. <laughs> this is just the beginning of the journey. Ultimately, the machine is a celebration of the age-old pursuit of physical mastery and human skill. And much like the early Wright brothers flights ushered in the dawn of powered flight, prosthesis ushers in the dawn of large-scale exobionic human augmentation. Not only is there the engineering side of things, but there's the pilot skill side of things. And that's why I have brought my coach, Sam Carter. Howdy, folks. So yeah, my name is Sam Carter. I was the lead fabricator on the project. Uh, John, why don't you uh, climb up inside and uh, let's show these folks what we can do. All right. So John's going to climb up into the exoskeletal suit and strap himself in. All right, so the machine is live now. John is strapped into an 8,500 pound suit that does what he does. So it looks like you're getting some feedback from the controls, John. Why don't we start with nose down. All right, nose up, touch my hand. All right, he's got some movement. Now, one of the first things you need to do as a mech pilot is learn how to stand up. John, bring her up. All right, now give us a chassis roll, John. This is one of the first exercises you learn as a pilot. This is rotating all of the machine's hips simultaneously. So this is four joints moving simultaneously. And this changes, this gives you an idea of the balance of the machine, but it also changes the center of gravity of the machine, which is important for uh, more advanced moves later down the road. So you can see here that the inside legs are controlled by my legs. My knee controls the knee, and my hip controls the hip. Here I can show you the outside leg. You can see that my shoulder controls the hip, and my elbow controls the knee. All right, come on forward a bit. So tonight, because this machine is all about the skill of the pilot and the challenge involved in operating the machine, we thought we'd try something new for you tonight. The Amazon people were kind enough to provide the safety barriers to keep the machine penned in, keep all you folks safe. But uh, we wanted to try and climb over them. Let's see what you got, John. All right, there we go. Nice and stable on that ledge. <laughs> stick it, John. <laughs> Please stick it. I, I think you got it. I think you got it. <laughs> oh yeah, with ease. Style and ease, folks. Give it up for him. All right, that's only halfway there. <laughs> Give us a minute. Can you climb down smooth? Oh, yeah. Held it. If you think this looks scary, that would be a gross underestimate. Looks like you got it there, John. Just hanging on by a... Oh, 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 yeah! Give it up for him, folks. 
Let me come down. Woo. <laughs> nice. All right, John. <laughs> All right, give it up for them, folks. That's a scary, scary thing to do.